Hi everyone! I bought this cane backed dining chair with another one about 18 months ago and I upcycled both of them. The other one I did in a pale neutral scheme and sold it easily. This one sat around for ages until I got fed up and put it in a barn for storage and let birds poo on it. So I'm now going to try to re-upcycle it to see if I can make it something that will sell. So I'm removing the seat cushion so I can re-upholster it and I've got a very cool fabric for that bit. Then I'm going to gently sand back the dark grey paint with a sanding sponge. I've just got sugar soap and water in my spray bottle here to give it a really good clean. Okay, time to remove the upholstery. I'm removing the black backing fabric so I can reuse it and I'll clean and keep the top fabric for something else. This is my awesome, I think, eye cat velvet that I'm going to use. I've matched it with Rolling Fog from Little Green to bring out some of those darker neutral tones. Hi Frank. <laughs> You're going to knock over my plant pot? Once I had a couple of coats of rolling fog on the frame and a base coat on the back, I went with the darker shade of rolling fog just for that cane section. I thought it would make it stand out a little bit more, add some depth and again bring out those nice darker neutrals from the velvet. Okay, back to the seat cover. I'm just getting the pattern central on the cushion and then I'm going to use my upholstery hammer and little tacks to nail it in place before stapling.
Okay, I am really not an upholstery pro. I'm still practicing and I can only manage pretty easy stuff at the moment. So please excuse my amateur style here and feel free to critique me in the comments. So I'm stapling and removing the tacks as I go, making little cuts and fudging through the corners before replacing the black backing fabric. I'm replacing the seat and just adjusting the black fabric as I had it pulled a tiny bit too far forward and I didn't want it poking out the front of the seat. Okay, so it would have made life a lot easier had I waxed the frame before replacing the seat cushion, but I thought I might want to touch up the paint after negotiating the seat back into place, but anyway, whatever. I've just applied it with a brush carefully around the fabric and buffed off the excess after about half an hour. And that was it. So this was the neglected, upcycled starting point. And this is its refreshed makeover. What do you think? Do you think it'll sell this time? Comment below. And please do like and subscribe. Frank, be quiet. Not. Ay, ay, ay. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time with a cool little cabinet that I'm doing in an interesting colour scheme.